All right, this video is to go over all the, the modifications to the uh, standard Power SDR 2.7.2, and this is uh, revision M7. So first we've got a uh, larger meter space for both RX1 and RX2. Uh, if you click on the meter, you can change the meter. There's two different styles, TR7 and uh, and then just a, a curved analog meter. And I've added a new feature called Signal Peak, which uh, has another needle in there, a red needle, which kind of holds the peak for a split second. And to go along with those meters, when you key up, like I'm on ALC, you get a green ALC. Forward power is blue. SWR is yellow, like that. The next thing I've added is frequency entry. When you enter in your frequency now, you can enter in, let's say you want to go to 7200, just type 7200, and you'll go to 7200. If you uh, want to go to uh, the 160 meter band, 1800, you don't need to use the decimal point. So, uh, but you could still use, you could still do it the normal way for both, both VFOs. <laughs> the uh, next feature is the uh, pan fall. Right now I got pan fall on RX1, which is the spectrum pan adapter and the waterfall. And then I can turn on RX2 and it leaves the waterfall on for RX1. That's something new. So now you got spectrum and waterfall for RX1, pan adapter for RX2, and then I added a pan fall as well for RX2. Divides the screen up into fourths. So the top two sections are RX1, bottom two sections are RX2. And uh, so you notice the, the, the brightness of the waterfalls are different. You can go to the display screen and there's now an RX2 level and it copies it over from the band data so I have 80 meter band data and it copies it over in and uh, you can adjust the, uh, the signal level which will affect the, uh, the waterfall brightness right now there's a storm so there's a lot of noise on the on the band and I also added a TX level low level so when you key up on your microphone, for example, uh, you'll use a different level, low level, and it uses zero dB for the high level since it's kind of, it's audio. So that takes care of that portion of it. So we can turn off that. If I key the mic, that now instead of being overly saturated, you can, uh, you can play with what kind of brightness you have on the, on the waterfall. The other thing is I added a gray, gray fall. Uh, so it turns both RX1 and or RX2 into uh, grayscale. And then the next feature I added <clears throat> is the ability to move the waterfall. If I jump on a frequency here, it moves over. The black spaces are where there was no recorded data. So you can move back and forth, zero on a signal, and it all moves with the signals. The next thing uh, I added was in the average. Normally it turns, it turns on the average for both uh, your um, spectrum and your waterfall. You could tell the data gets a little bit smoother. I added another feature. This, this is both for B. You hit it again and now it's P, so this is still averaged but now this is not averaged anymore. So you get a little more clarity in the waterfall, but you get that smoothed out average. And of course, this is adjustable from the display menu by choosing your average time. And then you cycle it, it turns it off. So you can go, go through all three modes for both RX1 and RX2. 
Oh, we've also added the DJ uh, console. So when you go to general, there's a user interface in here now for the DJ console. I have no idea how to use the DJ console. I just simply added the, the source code in for that. Uh, we fixed, when you go to six meters, now the S9 reading on six meters is, is correct dB, I believe is a negative uh, 93 dB. Uh, so that's been corrected for anything above 30 megahertz. Um, also, you can click on these to turn them off. Those, those are power, uh, three different power meter readings for the, for the display. We've also added uh, voltage and temperature of the PA for the, for the Flex 3000 and 5000. And I believe that is about it.